Hello, welcome on behalf of TAS International. My name is Peter Rittmeyer. This presentation we will give an introduction to the airbag training. In this presentation we will discuss the, uh, the global keywords of airbag modeling. The presentations afterwards we will address some of the issues more into detail. First, let's describe uh, the general overview of an airbag. You see here a picture of a passenger airbag. I will describe each keyword starting from the left column, top down, and then I will go to the right. Those are the keywords which are relevant with respect to airbag modeling. But first, let me describe it, the, the picture itself. You see a passenger airbag, the red line, that's the windshield. There is in yellow the IP, the instrument panel. And in black is the inflator house. This is where the airbag is folded in. Well, now we'll start from the left top. Blockage. It's contact related. And the permeability of an airbag can be high or low, or can even be completely sealed. And, but if, the, if there's permeability, you will have outflow. If the outflow is hampered due to contact, that's what we call blockage and then the amount of outflow will be less if there is no if there is contact if there's no contact you have free outflow the windshield well that's obvious the cover is the part of the instrument panel that opens so that is where the airbag is located behind if it's not deployed straps are the tethers and that requires a bit more explanation we call straps if the um, if there are line elements within Malimo. Tethers means really membrane elements. Those stra straps or tethers are used to control the shape of the airbag in the deployed state. Well, leakage, you can have all kind of leakage. In this case, it's the leakage between the connection of the airbag to the inflator house. Then in red, the arrow is the inflator, the jet. That is where the inflator is located and where the gas is brought into the airbag system. This can be really at the physical location, but it can also be in empirical based, uh, based on experiments in which direction the airbag is deployed. That will be addressed later on in one of the other presentations. The inflator housing, that is where the inflator is located. Now we go to the right column, seam leakage. Typically, an airbag is made of several panels. Those are stitched together. At the uh, uh, stitching, you can have leakage as well. Probably not too much, but it might be relevant. Then we have heat transfer. That's typically a phenomena which is not that uh, prominent, but if you have long deployments, then it might be relevant. It's something like heat loss. This is what we call heat transfer. And typically, after a few seconds, so in rollover cases, it might be relevant. If it's a passenger airbag or a driver airbag, typically the deployment is, or the whole crash occurs 100 milliseconds. The effect of heat transfer is not that much. Blockage already explained it with respect to the uh, windshield uh, for example it can also be to the IP but it can also be due to self-contact if you have a folding a fold in the airbag well then the fabric material itself can have a high effect as you will see in one of the later presentations on the shape of the airbag in case for example of a driver airbag you can have a sign at the stitch or not and that is depending on the way the fabric yarns are orientated. Permeability outflow, basically already addressed at the blockage. Can be high, can be low. And then hole outflow. Not all of the airbags do have holes, but most of them do. Well, once the dummy makes contact with the airbag, the airbag is suppressed and you get outflow. That will be either to permeability uh, but holes can has, have a contribution as well. Well, another important uh,
topic is in position versus out of position. I will explain it, what that means. In position basically means if the dummy, or the, yeah, the, let's say the dummy, or the person itself, if it's a real crash, is sitting in normal position, so proper in the seat. Events before deployment are less relevant. And for that only accurate airbag modeling is needed at the moment that the airbag is fully deployed. That means that the pressure has to be properly at that moment, but also the pressure rate. So how easy is the gas flowing out of the airbag at the moment of contact? Typically for in position skilled airbags will be used. That will be addressed later on as well. Out of position load cases are very demanding load cases. For example, a child sitting in front of an IP. You can imagine that then the load case will be completely different as the occupant is sitting in the near vicinity of the airbag at firing time. So you have to punch out of the airbag. For that, to describe such a deployment properly, you need to have a folding, a fold of your airbag. And that requires, of course, much more time to prepare. Also, accurate model input data is needed during the whole inflation process. So, the accurate folding is required, the jet uh, information needs to be okay, fabric properties, etc. And it also requires much more experiments to get a proper validated airbag. Another main keyword is the uniform pressure versus gas flow. Uniform pressure means that the pressure is everywhere the same inside the airbag. You see an example of that at the left picture. This is typically used for in position load cases. On the other hand, at the right side, you see gas flow. In this case, the airbag is split up in several cells, can be millions of them. And that is what we use with gas flow. It's typically used in out of position. You can imagine that this also requires much more computational effort, so long run times. Well, let's describe the pro and cons of uniform pressure versus gas flow. Uniform pressure can be modeled pretty quickly because you can make use of a skilled airbag. Um, what is happening before the deployment is less relevant. So for that, those models are extremely useful for DOE yeah, because you can have run times of less than a quarter of an hour. Uh, but they are only just good for in position load cases. Jets are empirical based models. You even don't need to define a jet, but if you would like to steer the de deployment in a certain direction, you can then make use of jets. Be reminded that those jets have to be inside the airbag in order to be effective. The disadvantage of uniform pressure is that it requires much more data or parameter, parameter, parameters to, to tune with respect to gas flow, for example the jet. On the other hand, you can also apply a folded airbag for uniform pressure, but that's less common. So this is just a rule of thumb. Gas flow, on the other hand, requires a much more accurate approach with respect to the physics, to, with respect to uniform pressure. And you need to have a jet and you have to define it at the location where it is really located. The advantage of that is that you also need less parameters to tune. And because in a skilled airbag, for example, the whole effect of, uh, of folding or the opening of the cover is not taken into account. Uh, guess what has a physical based jet, so basically no tuning, but the disadvantage is that it is much more CPU intense. It can be reduced this amount of CPU by taking into account that at the end you assume that the airbag pressure is constant and for that you can switch once the airbag is fully deployed from gas flow to uniform pressure. 
Here you see a typical XML tree of a uniform pressure. I will just give a brief overview. You see a control IMM one or two, sorry. That means it is used generally for a skilled airbag. In the control airbag part, the ambient conditions of black pressure, temperature and gas is described. It's also at the initial state of the airbag itself. Well, then you get the material, fabric shear is used here. You see straps, that means one dimensional element to control the deployed shape of the airbag. And then it comes to the most relevant part, that's the airbag chamber. In the later presentation, we will go much more in detail. But from a global perspective, what you do is that you define the elements that are part of the airbag itself. There's something like an outer volume that enables to point the, the normals of the elements in the right direction, because otherwise the pressure will be applied on the wrong side, and also the volume of the airbag will be calculated wrong. Inside the airbag chamber, there's also an inflator. It's not uh, that part is obliged, although the jet auto chip, which you see at the end of this block, is not obliged. In the inflator, you describe the inflator characteristics. That's done by a mass flow rate function and a temperature function. You also have to, spy, to specify the gas components that can be either constant, like in this case, but they can also be variable in time. Now let's go to a gas flow, typical structure. As said, in this introduction training of airbag, we will not go into detail, but it's good to know what it is, how, how to set up a gas flow model itself. Again, you have the control airbag, which describes the ambient temperatures, pressure, and now you see that it's control IMM1. That's typically used for folded airbags, although you can apply them for scaled as well, but typically this is for folded airbags. Again, you see the material properties. In this case, in the airbag chamber, you see that there is also a tether list. That means real physical tethers with membranes. Also for a gas flow, you have to specify a, a volume of the airbag. That's done in this case with the group list. Out of volume on is obliged and it will point the, the normals in the right direction. Then, with respect to uniform pressure, there is a new element, gas flow grid. In this element, you describe the number of elements in each of the three directions. Then the inflator again is needed eh, because that is the amount of gas which is brought into a time. Now, instead of just idle chip, you're using a get jet to gas flow. And that one is obliged because that is really the point where the gas is brought into the system. And that brings me to the end of the introduction training. Goodbye.